Okay, so what we've done is brought out some uh, domestic species. By that I mean uh, hickory, American walnut, American cherry, and in a select grade, an American cherry in uh, engineered plank with that is character. So, uh, and the reason I brought the cherry out, this is uh, tiger wood and Brazilian cherry, uh, five inch planks. So, on my right, on your left, these species uh, have photosensitive resins in them. And the, these solvents uh, can react with the wood and those photosensitive resins and age them. Uh, I've never done tiger wood before. I have done it with uh, Brazilian cherry and American cherry. So for the American cherry, for instance, uh, speeding up the aging process, as American cherry is exposed to UV light, the photosensitive resins in it uh, allow it to get darker. And that's one of the beauties of American cherry, particularly Pennsylvania American cherry, um, that people love. So you can even see it in this piece. We just took this piece out of one of the bundles in our wood stacks. Um, this piece was exposed um, even from the time it was milled, transported, unloaded here, and stored in the warehouse. This piece was out on the outside of the bundle, and you can see the difference just from exposure to out everyday UV light. Um, over time, as this is coated with a say an oil-based polyurethane to really bring out that orange sunset color uh, that American cherry will get with age. We can help it get there a little quicker. Uh, do you want to do this all the time? It's really up to you. Uh, but I know for a fact that this solvent um, will speed that up and get us that fiery sunset orange um, much quicker than two, three, and four years down the line. For American walnut and hickory, I have no idea what it's going to do. So you're going to—we're both going to find out together. All right. I am going to try two different solvents on some of this American cherry to see if they color differently. Plus, I just like doing this stuff. So we have the uh, antique lye. Again, there's no stain. This is just solvent. This is the tiger wood. And Brazilian cherry. Now you can see, again, as with any of these solvents, if the changeover color is too strong, just dilute it. Uh, these are all soluble in water. Um, and again, you can see the American cherry. On this side, with the antique lie, looks like it's 50 years old. Um, it's something that's very difficult to do with traditional stains. Um, cherry doesn't stain very evenly; it can be very blotchy, and the dot, uh, the um, solvent, reacts with everything equally. Uh, you get a nice even tone throughout. And this is on the uh, plank character grade American cherry. This is on tiger wood. 
Again, all photosensitive resins, this will react with and on Brazilian cherry. Again, this is just a reaction. So let me pop this off. I'll pop a new one on and we'll try it on the Yeah, let's try it on the American walnut and the hickory and see what happens. And every wood has what we'll call extratives in it. Um, whether those extratives are minerals or acids or and some will just wet out differently than others so you can see we even got a little reaction going here now that's just not wetted out um, that is a reaction so we've given walnut a nice golden, uh, antique golden walnut color. Pretty cool. And not really sure what's going on with the hickory here. It's kind of giving it a golden yellow. Maybe I'll grab a piece of hickory that's got sapwood in it. Um, and we'll give that a try so that we can uh, compare and contrast and see what it does to the sapwood. This is a pretty even piece of hickory and if anybody knows hickory, it is not even in grain. So, but we even got a little bit of reaction out of that. Pretty neat. So I was able to go back and grab a uh, piece of, uh, looks like six inch uh, hickory character grade with uh, sapwood and heartwood in it, which is pretty standard hickory. Whereas this piece here, select, very even in color. Um, so let's try it on here. Again, this is the uh, antique lie. And what we're just looking for is a reaction, but I'm interested to see what the reaction is gonna look like between the sapwood and the heartwood. So we'll just let that sit. And uh, next up is gonna be uh, the solution we discussed earlier of uh, hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide, which is an AB mix of wood floor bleach, is how it's purchased.